Hello everybody and welcome to another tech review video. This one was requested by you. A lot of you wanted to know what is in my Blackmagic setup. Well, I'm about to tell you. But first, as usual, I have to ask a favor. Can you guys remember to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I want to try to hit 200 subs by my birthday. Let's see if we can do it. Now, on to the review. So you guys wanted to know what's in my Blackmagic setup. Well, I'm about to tell you. So our system is designed that we can either do a small corporate event, two, three cameras, or a large scale event up to 20 cameras. The first thing in my rack is the Blackmagic SmartView HD 17 inch monitor. In its current configuration, it's set up to have a computer input, uh, three cameras, our two decks, and then our two media pools. Uh, this is set up for small corporate events and lectures such as that. Uh, so next up is a generic uh, power distributor. It's just used so we can turn on and off our pieces of equipment. The next thing in our deck is just the base model HyperDeck. That's used to record our stream or feed or whatever. It's a recorder so it records. So last up in my case is my video switcher. We have a Blackmagic Production Studio 4K. This switcher is a 20 channel video switcher with two MEs. It's very versatile, uh, allowing us to do anything from small corporate stuff to big full scale events. So last up in our Blackmagic system is our hardware control panel. We're using a 1ME Blackmagic switcher. So this lets us be able to physically control our different cameras and do our switching and our fades and our cutting all through this device. So you guys did hear me say that I have a 1ME control panel and a 2ME switcher. You can use the 1ME control panel with the 2ME switcher. It does work. The only problem is you can only control 1ME at a time without hitting a shift button. For bigger projects, we do have a 2ME control panel which allows us to control both MEs simultaneously. So my plan is to make more videos going over each piece of the equipment and our whole system together so you guys can actually see how it works, how we can switch pieces in and out to make our system bigger or smaller. And I'll even try to do some videos out on some of our production sites so you guys can see the equipment in use. Thanks for watching today's tech review video. If you're interested in buying any of the equipment you saw, I'll put a link in the description below. Also, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe. But most importantly, remember to dream big, think positive, and always be you.